If any of you vaguely follow Korea's FGC scene, you may have heard of one of Korea's main FGC hubs, Arcade Stream. Unfortunately, Arcade Stream has closed down and the FGC and Smash scene have since moved venues to a place called Aninori. In this video, I'll be going over how to get to Aninori in addition to some tips newcomers can use to make traveling around Korea less of a headache. The simplest and generally cheapest way to get to Aninori is through a subway. The closest station to the venue is Shirim, located on Line 4. When you leave the train, make your way to Exit 8. Keep walking straight until you see an orange building across the street, or this street sign. Cross the road and take a left and keep walking straight. Across the road, you can already see the venue. Cross the street once more, and make it to this door. The venue is on the third floor on the left. Don't forget to say hello to the owner. Alternatively, if you travel by taxi, tell the driver to go to Shirim Yok, which translates to Shirim Station. If that doesn't work, simply show him this address or this address. Either should take you straight to the venue. Getting to Aninori is all fine and dandy, but when should you come to Aninori? Smash Fest at Aninori are typically held on Tuesdays starting from 6pm, but changes in schedule will be noted on the Korea Smash Facebook page linked in the description. This is the best place to find info on where to play Smash as Aninori is not the only venue in Korea. Some players host Smash Fest themselves, and visitors can inquire on places to play. Curio also has a netplay community bolstered by Korea's solid internet speeds. If you netplay, post in the Facebook group and people will be happy to play some matches with you. For reference, the Korean Smash scene primarily plays Melee and Smash 4. If you're new to South Korea, there are three tips that I tell everyone I meet. One, download the app Subway Korea. In my opinion, it's the best subway map. Subways, more likely than not, will be your most common method of travel. This easy-to-use interactive map calculates travel distance, line transfers, pricing, and more. Though the time estimates can be off due to line transfers, it is still fairly accurate, especially with the transferless routes. 2. Google Maps does not function properly in Korea for legal reasons. I recommend using either Naver or DOM Maps, which are both available online and on iOS and Android devices though on both of these devices, DOM is known as Kakao Maps. While DOM is available in English, Naver Maps is exclusively in Korean. However, I've taken the liberty of writing a guide of how to use Naver Maps to travel, which I've linked in the description below. It was originally written for Arcade Stream, but functionally it can be used with any address. Pre-inputted entries to any Norian DOM and Naver have been included in the description. 3. I recommend getting a T-Money card in a subway station. You can store money in these cards, and they can be used for buses, subways, and even taxis. They are overall very convenient and make traveling less complicated around Korea. Well, that's the end of our video. Please subscribe to this channel for more content on the Korean Smash scene. Also, please subscribe to Korea's premier FGC YouTube channel, Core A Gaming. Core A Gaming is a hell of a lot more professional than me and makes fantastic FGC content. Thank you for watching, and please visit Korea.